Hey guys, so this week we're gonna be taking a look at the 30 liter travel bag from Topo Designs. And from the moment I saw this bag, it immediately caught my attention. It had such a unique look, the colors, the outdoorsy feel, and I had also been very curious to try Topo bags for a long time. So I reached out to the company to see if they had any review units that I'd be able to share on the channel, and they were kind enough to send this one over. And I've been testing it out for the past couple of weeks, and I have to say I've been really impressed with how well this bag has performed, especially at that smaller size. This is one of the best small travel bags that we've looked at on the channel, and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. So let's go ahead and jump in and take a closer look at the 30 liter travel bag from Topo. So starting out with the outside of the bag, I have to say the look of this bag is what first caught my eye. It's just so different from any of the other travel bags that I've tried out in the past. It's very colorful and it has much more of an outdoorsy feel. I've definitely felt like I'm going on an expedition when I'm using this bag. As I've been wearing this out and about, I've gotten a lot of compliments on the look and it's just something that I've absolutely loved about the bag so far. The version that I have here is a blue version with red and yellow accents, but they also have the bag in an all black and green version. So lots of versatility there, depending on what your color preferences are. The bag has a really solid build quality. It's made out of a very tough feeling 1000D nylon, very similar to the material used on the core pack, which we reviewed a few weeks ago. And that material feels like it's gonna hold up well in a variety of environments. It has a water repellent finish to help keep your stuff safe. And the bag also has really thick, nice looking YKK zippers all around. One thing that I did notice on this bag as well as the core pack is that the zippers are a little bit more exposed than I would like to see for a bag such as this, which is really meant to kind of go outdoors in my opinion. So I would have loved to have seen some water guards kind of like the ones you'd find on the Air Travel Pack 2 or on the Nomadic Travel Pack where they're really well sealed. However, I do also feel like it might have clashed a little bit with the look that the bag was going for. So small trade off there, but so far I haven't noticed any issues with the light rain that I've been caught in. On the front of the bag, there is some webbing to add to the more technical nature of the bag. So this would be good for combining with some sort of carabiner if you wanna hang your shoes off or some additional gear. So nothing too crazy, but just a nice little accent. As far as the capacity, as I mentioned in the intro to the video, this is the 30 liter version of the bag. The bag is also offered in a 40 liter version, but I typically don't like to travel with bags that are that big. The 30 liter really caught my eye as it felt like it was in the range that would be big enough to hold everything that I typically wanna take with me for two weeks, but still small enough that I would be able to get away with using it for daily use. And in particular for that second use case, I feel like this works really well. Typically with travel bags that you're trying to use as daily bags, you end up compromising quite a bit, but the bag really has a small and slim look. As I'm wearing it, even when it's filled up, it just doesn't look very big. It doesn't stick out awkwardly as I'm wearing it. So. I was very happy with the overall silhouette that it has and how slim it manages to stay regardless of how it was loaded. And so at that 30 liter capacity, I'm very confident that I'm gonna be able to carry this bag on to all sorts of airlines, whether it be international or domestic. I recently traveled to Thailand on airlines such as Air Asia. I've flown on Ryanair and EasyJet in the past and I'm very confident that I would have had no issues carrying this onto the plane. On top of that, the materials used in this bag help reduce the weight. So when the bag is empty, it's about 1.2 kilograms, which is great to see because when you're flying on those smaller airlines, the weight restrictions can be very strict. I've had a lot of comments on the videos in the past requesting a little bit more discussion on weight for these travel bags. So very light, 1.2 kilograms is lighter than the majority of other travel bags that I've tested out in the past. And it's great that you can kind of have that without sacrificing the durability as the bag does feel very sturdy. Continuing to move along the outside of the bag, you'll notice it has three different carrying handles, which are really great for helping you to carry the bag as a briefcase when you tuck the straps away, which we'll talk a little bit more about in a second, but also for loading it into an overhead storage compartment if you need to. In addition to the handles on the outside, the bag also has these clips on the top and bottom of the bag, which are meant to pair with some of Topo's day bag offerings. So as we saw in the video that we did for the core pack, that bag had a little loop on the top that was meant to attach to this hook here so that you could kind of carry both bags together. It looked a little bit clunky combining the core pack with this bag as the core pack is actually a pretty big day bag. But with some of Topo's smaller bags, I can see this being a very useful feature where you could attach your smaller bag here and kind of carry both at the same time so that you don't have to wear one of your bags on the front. And so as I mentioned, there's a clip here at the top and then another one here at the bottom, same type of clip to help make sure that the bags stay very secure while you're wearing them. And then moving on to the straps and the back paneling, I really like the straps that were used here on the bag. They feel very thick and well padded. And they have a nice meshy material on the inside to help prevent moisture buildup and to help keep air flowing. 
I really like how soft the straps are. So really comfortable overall. I like the slightly contoured shape that the straps have as that suits my shoulders really well. And the straps are pretty wide. I would have thought they could be a little bit wider for the size of the bag. I believe these are close in width to the straps that the core pack had, which is a smaller bag. So would have liked for them to be just ever so slightly wider, but so far I haven't felt any issues with them digging into my shoulders, thankfully. The straps also have a removable and adjustable sternum strap. And so the system that they've used here is very easy to adjust. And if you don't like to use sternum straps, you can take this off very easily. You might wanna be careful as you're traveling with this if the sternum strap is loose. I feel like this could possibly get lost if you're not careful. I haven't had any issues, but just something to keep an eye on as you're wearing it. At the top, the bag has a pair of load lifters to help keep the weight as close to your back as possible and to just help you tweak how you carry this a little bit more to make sure that it's as comfortable as possible. So I really like having these to be able to pull the weight really close to my back. Thankfully, the bag doesn't stick out too much regardless, but having that extra ability to tweak how you're carrying it is very helpful. And so at the bottom, the straps have these clips which allow you to remove them and store them in this little compartment here if you want to reduce the amount of straps that you're carrying or if you wanna use the bag like a briefcase or a shoulder bag, or if you need to check it or anything like that, this is gonna help reduce the amount of straps. So it's very easy to remove the clips. They're very sturdy and so you can tuck those away. I typically wear the bags as a backpack, so I don't use this feature too much, but it's nice that you have the versatility to do so if you want. And then while we're down here at the bottom, the bag also includes a removable waist strap. So similar to my feedback on the core pack, the waist strap included here is a little bit thin in my opinion. It doesn't feel like it's gonna help add that much support. Thankfully, this bag isn't that big, so it shouldn't really be able to get that heavy. With bags of this size, I typically don't end up using the waist strap either way. But I feel like when the bags include a waist strap this thin, it doesn't help add that much support, especially when compared with something like the Tortuga Set Out Divide, which has these big waist straps that are very well padded and definitely help remove some of that weight from your shoulders. So it would have been nice to see something a little bit more robust. Continuing on with the back panel, I've been very impressed with how comfortable the bag is to wear. It has a nice amount of padding here. There's a few different air channels, so a little bit of elevation to help keep your moisture from building up on your back as you're wearing this throughout the day. I do wish that the padding was a little bit thicker. So far, I haven't noticed any issues, especially with the size of the bag. But again, compared with a bag like the Tortuga Set Out Divide, which has very beefy padding on the back or something like the Travel Pack 2, it would have been nice to just have that extra bit of comfort for your back. So still very comfortable wear. I like to see that there's at least some elevation and some air channels to keep that air moving and prevent moisture from building up. And it's nice that that likely helps reduce the amount of weight that the bag itself has. While we're on the back here, the last thing I'll mention is that there's this little pass through for your suitcase handle. So if you're traveling with this and another carry on suitcase, you'll be able to rest this on the suitcase by passing the handle through this little sleeve here and it works very well. I like that the sleeve is so wide so you really feel like your bag's gonna be secure as you're resting it on there. As I was mentioning earlier, if you do wanna hide the straps, the bag can be carried as a briefcase with the very durable handles that it has on the three different sides and it also includes a removable shoulder strap if you wanna carry it like a shoulder bag instead. So this is a very well padded, comfortable shoulder bag, same materials as the backpack straps. And I like how thick it is. This is really wide. I wish the backpack straps had actually been this wide to provide just that extra bit of comfort. And so the clips that they've used here are very solid, very easy to use. There's two durable plastic loops here, which you can clip onto the bag. The length of the strap is also very nice. I was able to wear this comfortably as a shoulder bag or as a crossbody bag and just throw it over my back. So really nice versatility added by the ability to use the shoulder strap. I don't typically use these quite as much just because I find that the backpack straps are more comfortable for the way that I like to travel. But it's nice that this was actually included with the bag and that you can just remove it and choose not to use it if you prefer to carry it as a backpack. So really nice job here. So moving on to the organization of the bag, I was really impressed with how many different pockets it had and more importantly, how useful those pockets were. So the first one I'll start off with here is the laptop compartment, which has a nice side opening, easy to access as you're going through airport security. Another nice YKK zipper here. I wish it had a little bit more weather resistance here, but because of this flap that it has, it has at least some covering to help keep water out. I love the zipper pulls that are used on the bag as they make it very easy to get into and out of the zippers. And it also adds another nice kind of stylistic touch. So opening the horizontal compartment on the inside, you can see the nice bright lining, which makes it very easy to see everything that's in the compartment. So just a very simple laptop compartment here. Currently what I have in there is my 13 inch MacBook Pro, but it should be able to hold up to a 15 inch laptop here. You can see there's some leftover space. So very easy to get into your laptop with this side access compartment so that you can pull it out for TSA. 
One thing I will note is that if you do have a larger laptop, the zipper opening is a little bit on the smaller side, so you kind of have to wiggle your laptop sideways to be able to fit it in properly, but because of my smaller laptop, I didn't have any issues. And so the compartment itself is pretty simple. It has a good amount of padding on both sides. There's no sort of felt lining on the inside to help prevent against scratching, but I do like the amount of protection that has been added. And one of the important things I wanna call out here is that the laptop compartment is elevated off the bottom of the ground. So if you do place your bag down hard or happen to drop it, your laptop is gonna be prevented from hitting the ground. So that's always a nice bonus when bags have that protection for the laptop. So really nice implementation here. On the front of the bag, there's one quick access compartment, which also has a lot of internal organization, which I love to see on these kind of longer compartments to make them just a little bit easier to organize so opening this compartment up here same bright yellow lining that we saw in the laptop area making it very easy to see whatever is on the inside of the bag so i really like the contrast that's offered here and as i was saying nice amount of space the compartment is pretty tall so you could fit something like a tablet or maybe a notebook in here currently what i have in here on the front is just my kindle which fits in there very easily but i would have definitely been able to fit a moleskin notebook or something like that so here you can see lots of leftover space even when i have stuff in these compartments here so before diving into those compartments you'll notice that it has a little keychain loop which would be a great spot to put maybe the keys that you have to your suitcase locks or even just your house keys currently what i have in here is just my gerber shard and so nice little clip here i do wish that maybe the lanyard was a little bit longer and then as far as the other internal organization there's two equal size pockets that are very useful i was surprised with how much volume these compartments actually had so starting out with the top one here what i currently have is my blue pot portable bluetooth speaker and power bank and i just want to showcase how deep this compartment is so even with that in there there's still a ton of leftover space here at the top so very spacious compartments a nice amount of volume i could have easily fit you know, a portable hard drive, maybe a mouse in here. So love to see how much volume is provided. As far as the width of the compartment, you can see it starts from the zipper and it goes pretty much to the end of the bag here. And then the one on the bottom is exactly the same. So same width and depth. And then in here, I just have my Field Notes notebook, so I don't have anything too thick to add. And so just really solid implementation on this front quick access compartment. I love the internal organization. We saw something similar on the core pack. So definitely glad to see Topo including this type of feature across multiple bags. Before moving on to the next organizational area, one thing I wanna call out is that the bag does have these neat little security loops that you can pass the zipper pulls through to help add a little bit of deterrence against pickpockets. And so just gauging by how tricky it was for me to even get both zipper pulls through here, I can see that it would take a fair amount of effort to get the zippers out. If somebody wanted to get in quickly, it'd be easy to notice that somebody was trying to mess with your bag. So nice little security touch here. The same loop was included on the main compartment. I've chosen not to use it for now, just so that I could get into the main compartment quickly when we go through it. So opening up this compartment here, I love that it opens completely flat. So even though this is a quick access compartment, I love that it gives you the opportunity to easily see everything that's on the inside and properly organize it. So nice amount of space offered here. I've complained in the past with bags like the Air Travel Pack 2 that have this kind of front admin compartment with lots of pockets and organization. When they don't open flat, it's really hard to take full advantage of the bottom of the bag because it's a deep compartment. Being able to lay it out flat allows you to use every inch of it as opposed to when you're trying to squeeze in and reach down and grab stuff from a deep compartment. So love the implementation here. Currently what I have is just my GORUCK wired up, which has all my cables and dongles if you want to take a closer look at what I have in here, I'll include a link in the description below to the video that we did for this. And then I just have some of my bulkier items sitting here that didn't really fit into some of these slip pockets or it would have been a little bit of a tight fit. And honestly, as long as they're in this main compartment, I prefer to just have them kind of floating around. So I have my GoPro Hero 3 Plus here. And then I also have my sunglasses with their case. So these slip pockets offer a nice amount of organization, especially if you have something flatter. It's a little strange how flat they are they don't offer a lot of volume so if you have something thicker it's going to be a little bit of a tighter fit so maybe something like a portable battery would slip into here this might also be a good place to put something like trail maps if you need to put something flatter or some paper or boarding passes this is going to be a good spot for it as you can see they're equally sized pockets I wish that this was a little bit more elastic here to just provide some flexibility in how you could use it. So you're really constrained to using it for flatter items, but still it's nice to have that ability to organize your things a little bit more and they lay back really flat. So if you don't wanna use them, they just stay out of the way. And then the last compartment here in this area is just a large zippered compartment. So this pretty much goes the full height of the compartment. So opening this up, you can see it goes all the way to the bottom. So it would be very hard to combine something with this compartment and these slip pockets as the volume would be shared between all of them. So you really have to be a little choosy with what you put in each compartment. Currently what I had here, since it just kind of stayed towards the top is my UTEC wireless charger for my phone. 
But this would be a good spot to put something like a flatter paperback book or maybe something like a magazine if you want to get to it quickly as you're traveling. You can just open this up from the top and reach down and grab it. And last but not least, moving on to the main compartment. As with all great travel bags, I love that this opens up clamshell style, making it very easy to pack and organize your stuff. I love the simplicity offered by the main compartment here. It's just a big bucket. I was able to fit everything that I typically travel with very easily. You can see that it doesn't even look overpacked. So I still have a little bit of leftover space if I wanted to add an additional pair of shoes or a jacket. So very nice that even with just a 30 liter capacity, the bag is this spacious. So just going through the items that I have here in the main compartment. First up is my Toms, which you know I never travel anywhere without. Next up is my smaller packing cube, which has my underwear, my socks, my shirts, smaller things like that. Next up is my new travel kit from Air which is the dop kit that I've been using for the past couple of weeks. I absolutely love it, and I'm gonna be doing a full walkthrough for this in the next couple of months, so make sure to keep an eye out for that. And then the last thing I have here is my larger double-sided packing cube with my jeans and my dress shirts and my larger clothing items. And so here you get a good look at the inside of the main compartment, so very simple, no straps or extra organizational compartments here. So I love when bags have just this very simple bucket that allows me to use my packing cube style very effectively. And again, as with the rest of the bag, I like the bright inner lining, which makes it very easy to see whatever's on the inside. And then the last item I wanna call out here is just on the flap, there's two additional mesh zippered compartments, which I'm currently not using for much since most of my items are contained within the packing queue. But I like how much volume these offer and just kind of the size. Sometimes the zippered compartments included on the flaps are very small and not very useful. You can put maybe a few pairs of socks or underwear. So I really feel like I could almost use this as a smaller packing cube if I wanted to put my socks and underwear in here or even just keep my dirty laundry separated. And it's nice that because of the mesh, I can easily see what's in the compartment. So nice amount of minimal organization offered here. I do feel like the pockets would be useful. I just didn't end up using it because of how I had the rest of my stuff organized. So definitely looking forward to a lot more trips with this bag. I'm excited that it not only holds a lot of stuff, but that it's not that big. So I think I can get away with using it as a daily bag. I have an upcoming trip to Iceland, which I feel matches well with the outdoorsy look. So very excited to put this bag to further and more rigorous tests. And so to wrap up, I've had a great experience testing out the travel bag over the past couple of weeks. I've been super impressed with how much I've been able to fit into the bag considering its smaller size, the overall look, the colors, and just how well made the bag feels. You can purchase the 30 liter version of the travel bag on Topo's site for about $189. They also sell a larger 40 liter version, which is gonna be a little bit more expensive, but I haven't had a chance to test that one out. However, for me, this 30 liter version is fantastic for somebody who's enthusiastic about minimal one bag travel such as myself. And at that $189 price point, this is gonna be a very compelling option and great alternative to some of the other similarly priced bags that we've looked at on the channel. As I was testing this out, the bag reminded me a lot of the Tortuga Set Out Divide, which is another great smaller carry-on bag that compresses and expands from 26 liters to 34 liters. So it's a little bit bigger than this bag and has slightly more versatility in that it can compress and expand so you can kind of get away with using it as a daily bag. It also includes a really, really nice hip strap and just a really well-built bag all around. So I really enjoyed testing that one out. We've done an in-depth review for that if you want to take a closer look. And that one is going to be a very similar price. It's about $190 as well. So definitely a great alternative to take a look at if you're in the market for a bag like this. Another great bag to consider in this price range would be something like the Nomadic Travel Pack, which we talked about so many times on this channel, but it still manages to hold up well to all these new bags that are coming out. That one is also a compressible and expandable bag that works really well for daily use and at its fullest capacity is pretty close to this one in size. They're both end up being around 30 liters. And that bag also includes a removable waist belt and a compressible packing cube. And if you get it with some of the coupons that Nomadic offers, it comes in at around $190, so almost at the same price point. And that's a very attractive option, especially if you're looking for something that has a little bit more of a tech feel or offers a little bit more weather resistance. Another good bag to compare this to would be the Air Travel Pack 2, which is still kind of my all around favorite travel bag. It holds everything that I need. It has such a great look and it feels like it's gonna hold up well to all types of weather. And so that bag's a little bit bigger than this bag here. And I like the waist belt, it includes a little bit more. However, the size of this bag really works works better for daily use than the Air Travel Pack 2. I was so impressed with just how small the bag manages to look without sacrificing carrying capacity. And if you prefer a little bit less of a techie look and more of an outdoorsy feel, this is gonna be a great alternative to the Travel Pack 2. The Travel Pack 2 is also a little bit more expensive, coming in at $230 without the waist strap. So once you add the waist strap, that bag really starts to get higher into the price range. Whereas this manages to stay under $200, making it a really compelling alternative. And then the last bag that I'll throw out there is the Burton Traverse Pack, which we looked at a little while back. And that is another really capable, more outdoorsy looking travel pack 
had a lot of pockets. It was able to hold a ton of stuff. It was slightly bigger than this bag, but it still didn't look too big. It was definitely manageable to use for daily use. And that was a really well-made bag from Burton. It was a little bit lower on the price range, about $130, $150. But I do feel that the build quality and the materials used on this bag are of higher quality, so that might help justify the higher price point. But with all that being said, that 30 liter Topo travel bag is a fantastic option for anybody looking for a minimal travel bag that could possibly work as a daily bag and is gonna offer a really solid build quality, lots of great organization, and just a really cool look in my opinion. So between this and the core pack, I've been really impressed with the bags that Topo has been coming out with, and I'm really excited to try out some more of their bags and gear in the future. And so I wanna go ahead and thank the company again for sending the bag for me to test out. And if you guys found this video useful, please go ahead and give us a like below. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And thank you guys so much.